The Oregon Manifest is a contest that pits teams from five different cities against one another to develop radical new bike designs. This year, the challenge was to create the ultimate urban utility bike. PCH International's Lime Lab teamed up with Huge Design for their Evo concept, which combines metal 3D printing and a flexible design for interchangeable attachments. Uh, this year's format, they basically paired up uh, design studios with um, one-off builders. The challenge that they gave to us is a quick list of kind of city urban bike parameters um, and then you know really try to capture the spirit of your city um, in a bike design. San Francisco is a super diverse place in lifestyle and in terrain. We wanted this to be a really flexible concept um, that would be adaptable and our solution is, is basically uh, a frame that can really adapt um, to several different uh, use cases really quickly. My role in the project was um, basically doing a lot of the uh, mechanical design, um, specifically for the uh, connection points for the different attachments for the bicycle. So we basically wanted to take um, the design of a sort of a bike plus all of the accessories that you would normally see on a bike that are designed as sort of aftermarket products um, that don't fit very well with the bike or that you know they end up looking like Frankenstein parts added to the bike and we wanted to approach that from the from the beginning and, and design a bike that was flexible enough that you could remove and you could attach and remove different um, different sort of accessories um, but you could still at the end of the day you could remove everything and just have a very clean looking bike frame. It was a really fun mechanical challenge you know it's not something you can solve with with software or anything like that so it was, it was fun to it was fun to approach it but we ended up with a design that basically you slide in the rack and it, it detents in, so it, it clicks in and it won't come out, but it's still a little bit loose. And then you turn using a key, sort of a proprietary key we have, you turn it a little bit and that sort of turns, a, makes an over-center mechanism lock the attachment in place. Because we're 3D printing, we can add all kinds of sort of functionality that would be otherwise you know, difficult to add in. And it was also allowed us to do things really quickly and rapidly to go from design to like finished, finished bike. Yeah, I think one of the one of the most fun things about the bike for me is just to imagine, you know, what what are what are other devices that could that could be part of this sort of quick plug and play system. We've built that into the frame, so it's it it'll, it's sort of a platform for people to play with. So. We designed the whole bike in CAD for months before we ever ever even built one, and that just made it so much easier because the transition from CAD to real bicycle was really seamless. Well, we got to cut straight pieces of chromoly tubing and weld them to 3D printed lugs. You know, direct to metal printing is not a real household kind of technology. So we kind of designed around this technology without having any real world experience with it. You know, and luckily it all worked out as planned. As a bike builder, it, it was a dream to get to work that way. And I, I can see this becoming, uh, as the technology gets less expensive, I can see this becoming something that uh, bike builders definitely adopt. For me, that was the exciting part, is getting to mix 100-year-old craft with 21st century, you know, cutting edge technology. I think that, that, that's really, ex I'd say that's the most exciting part of this for me. Evo's flexible design seems like a perfect fit for the San Francisco lifestyle, but teams from Chicago, New York, Portland, and Seattle are also competing in the contest. Check out their designs and vote for your favorite at the Oregon Manifest website.